Alrighty, time for another edition of Science Sunday, of course, at the Connecticut Science Center and joined by Eva Ryle. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so all sorts of fun things today dealing with insects and communication? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so um, there's a lot of ways that insects communicate with each other, like most, most animals, right? If you spend a time outside right now, you're probably seeing a lot of experiencing a lot of insects. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I wanted to show you how you can mimic some of those at okay. home um, to help talk about how these things happen. All right. Um, so one we can do is actually with just a regular comb. All right. And we're going to mimic crickets. So crickets have on their wings, they have a scraper on the top edge. And on the bottom edge, they have these wrinkles. And so they'll lift their wings up at 45 degree angles and scrape them against each other. Okay. And so if you want to try it out, um, it's called striation. You can actually just run your finger along a comb. Can you hear that? Yeah. So that's how crickets are making noise. They're just rubbing one part of their body against another part of their body. All right. They make that. I'm trying to mimic crickets, see if you can get them to respond to you. <laughs> so another one we can do. Okay. And these have been really, oh, really big headlines. in the news. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's our friends, the cicadas. <laughs> um, I'm kind of glad we didn't have them up here. Too yeah, bad. yeah, we kind of, we kind of missed very that. Very fortunate, yeah. Yeah, they're very loud. Um, so they have, these are dog clickers people use for training. Okay. Um, one thing about cicadas, their bodies are hollow, which helps amplify that noise, which is why they're so loud. Um, but they have membranes that contract and relax, and they make that clicking sound. So right. you ready to try? Let's do it. Ready? Yeah. Going. <laughs> You're pretty loud. <laughs> so they're clicking so quickly, we actually hear it as a continuous noise, but they're actually individual clicks. So you have to go really, really, really go fast. Really fast, yeah. <laughs> get a bunch of them going, get all your dog get clickers, all your... annoy all your neighbors. <laughs> Don't tell them I told you to. <laughs> Do like at 10 o'clock at night? Yeah. Five exactly. in the morning. <laughs> All right, I got one more for All right, you. this one's really cool. Yeah, this is actually about fireflies, um, which I love, how magical. Um, and you can actually trick them. So fireflies have different flash patterns depending on which species they are. And who would have thought there were so many species? I'm, uh, there's seven or eight of them. Yeah, so yeah. we have, um, if you from Mass Audubon, they have these different patterns. And so different species of fireflies will use these to find each other. Okay. Um, so our most common one here in Connecticut is the uh, Photonus pyralis and they do a J-shaped. So they'll light up and then they make a little J, and then they'll light up again, make another J. So if you want to trick some fireflies, you can go outside with a flashlight, see if you can get them to respond to you. And this is kind of like, it's, a, it's used for mating? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so it'll help them find members of their own species. Okay. Although there are predatory fireflies too. Mm, not so, good. No, well, not good for the, for the other ones. So they'll actually mimic another species flash pattern. Okay. And then when those fireflies come over to investigate, they eat them. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> yeah. That's not good. So, you know, feel free to get out, um, try to mimic some insects and see if you can get them to communicate back with you. So you're kind of having like a wildlife encounter. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> a nice segue into a stage show that they have here at the Science Center on weekends, which includes Friday. So Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We have three shows a day um, of our wildlife encounters. So um, our good friends who've been with us for a while have incredible animals that they bring into the theater. You can get up close and personal and meet some, some really cool animals. Excellent. Yeah. Good stuff. All right, Eva, thank you so much. And of course, we hope to see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.